Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Basecamp 3 uh, through Zapier. First thing uh, we want to do is uh, creating ourselves an account at Basecamp and as you can see we are at our workspace and uh, uh, we won't be able to find any integrations uh, straight from Basecamp to any program that you want to integrate with like Microsoft Teams, Office or SharePoint and so on and so on. So we have to find uh, an application that will allow us or give us a chance to actually, to actually uh, make this integration happen. We can go to automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description uh, underneath this video. We want to go to the integrations and see all categories. Now we can pick from all those integrations. So we go Basecamp. And now we just pick the counterpart like Salesforce, Slack, MailChimp or Gmail. But uh, we want to go to the Zapier first because this video is about uh, how to integrate uh, through Zapier. Uh, we need to create ourselves an account here and we want to start the integration uh, with clicking on the top left corner uh, and make a Zap. Uh, Zap stands for uh, integration. We can go and we can name our Zap like this, like uh, Basecamp to Trello, for example. Uh, in this uh, in this column or in this search engine, uh, we should go and we should look for Basecamp like this. Basecamp three. Well, we need to choose ourselves an event we want to start with. So we can go with a new account, new project, new person, new message, and so on. So let's go with a new account. We hit continue. Now it's very important that you log into the account that you created or you own. I did it a few minutes ago, so we can use this one. We hit continue. And now we can just test the trigger. On the second action, there's a room for the account that, uh, sorry, not account, but application you want to, uh, you want to integrate like uh, Asana, Airtable, Basecamp, oh, well, you don't want to integrate Basecamp into Basecamp. So let's go with, uh, for example, pipe drive, action event, or oh, sorry, I named it Trello. So let's go with a Trello like this. Now we also have to pick the one that we need, but let's stick to the first one. We hit continue. And the last thing is you have to just log in to the Trello account and it's basically, we are basically done. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.